Okay. So set your cursor on the second box. The first one is going to be white or the brightest color. So we're going to change the value of the second box. Double click on the fill and this is going to change the value. We're going to give it 10%. What I want you to notice is this little circle right here. What happens to the circle? It moves down which means that my value is changing. K stands for black or key and if you can find out why that's true then I'll give you extra credit on this page. Just type it at the bottom. You've got C which stands for cyan, M for magenta, Y for yellow. This makes up the colors. These would do the same thing but we're going to focus on these ones because they control the print color. If we were to print this, these are the values that you would have. So K controls the value because it's changing the black in the picture. Remember we talked about intensity when we talked about color? Intensity changes when you're moving your cursor around over here. And notice that it's changing a blue color um, because there is no intensity in black and white. But you've got the blue color over here. That's changing your intensity. So over here you're changing intensity. As you move down, notice the K changes and you're changing the value. And this slider changes the hue, the plain old color. Okay, so let's go back here and change it 10%. Go ahead and do that for all of the second boxes. Notice here I'm using the yellow set and Y is 100%. Notice again what happens when I change my K value. It moves down. And the same thing is going to happen with my red value. And here notice I've got 100% magenta and 100% red or uh, yellow and that makes it red. Moving it down and for one more it moves it down. Okay, so I've got 10% for all of my colors. Now all you need to do is go across your page and add 10% each time. So now it's going to be 20% and 30, and so on, and so forth. That covers all of your value scales. Again, you should have four. Once you have all of this finished, you'll be ready to move on.